do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have something a little different. I don't think I've ever reacted to anything like this. I'm actually extremely excited to watch this video. We finna be reacting to some prison breaks. Some real prison breaks caught on camera. Now me personally, I, I used to love that show Prison Break with Michael Schofield. You know what I'm saying? That that was a very entertaining show for me. I, I highly suggest that show if you have not watched it. I don't know why I had that book in my pocket. But anyways, um, so I, I, I'm into that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? And this is like real prison escapes caught on camera. Like, I'm very curious to see this. I'm, how the heck do they pull this off? Because I don't know if you've ever been to prison. You know what I'm saying? But it's not easy to escape these places, especially like the, the, the real places. I'm not talking about a little jail cell or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. That's hard in itself. But a whole entire freaking prison, man. I'm actually very excited to watch this video if you have not noticed. But before we hop into the video, make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these. Bangers, you know what I'm saying? Make sure to copy yourself a Jew rag. You can buy two in the third freak, but let's say stuff. It Without further ado, man, let's just hop right into this, bro. Criminals have been trying to escape prisons ever. I've been Come on, bro. How, how would I get an ad? The, the thing just started. How did I get an ad? The video just started. What the heck? Criminals have been trying to escape prisons ever since their inception. In most cases, prison breaks fail, but this isn't always the case. Escapes don't only happen in the movies, as they actually happen much more often than you'd like to think in the real world. It's human nature to seek freedom, and it's going to be very clear the length some people will take to relish that sweet taste of fresh air. Luckily for us, most fail, but those very few truly committed criminals who are willing to risk it for the biscuit sometimes succeed spectacularly. Ready to meet the guys that escaped and lived to tell the tale, let's get it on. Under the radar. Sometimes you just have to wing it. No pre-planning, thought process, or careful consideration. If you see an opening, you take it. Two inmates were on garage duty outside the high fences of the prison. All it took was a fleeting glance towards each other. That's that's literally how it be. You know what I'm saying? You get a little bit of freedom when you're in jail. You know they be putting the, they be making the, 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 um, the people in jail have little jobs outside of jail outside of prison like this they they dumpster people all they have to do is run across the highway and they they free they free beans they ain't even wearing jail clothes either so it's not like random people go call the cops they weren't freaking chef clothes that's what it looked like i don't know a little nod and they were off they bolted out of the prison grounds as fast as they could leaving the supervising guard staring after them in disbelief <laughs> he's not even trying what he, he don't care he, he what the as he called in the escape on his radio. Once the coast was clear, the pair split up to go their separate ways, every man for himself. They were apprehended a few days later in a nearby barn and apartment complex. How these guys flew under the radar and convinced the guards to let them outside without restraints is anyone's guess. Over the fence. Some criminals- How you fumble the bag? You got away, but how you get caught? So that's my, that's my thing. If you escape, especially you've been gone a couple days, you had time to cut your hair, get a bunch of tattoos, you had to, well, they ain't got no money. They, you have time to do something. You have time to go, you might as well go rob a store and get a razor to cut your hair and some pen to give yourself some tattoos or a wig or something. I don't, you got time to disguise yourself and get the heck out of there. Instead of stopping at it, they said they stopped at a barn? What the, who are you, Bob the Builder? Come on now. Those would move heaven and earth in order to be free from the prison walls. Others would just simply move part of the wall. These two inmates removed a couple of cinder blocks and squeezed through the openings before throwing a blanket over a 25 foot high razor wire fence and fleeing into the woods. The holes in the wall were covered by posters and they even made dummies out of pillows and blankets in their beds to buy them valuable time. After all that work, they were caught when a local resident saw tracks in the mud at a nearby creek and alerted the authorities. If you're Come on, bro. This man is an op. If you see tracks, just what are you tracking people for? Like, what are you looking at? What is you a freaking bounty hunter? Why are you looking at people? I don't know why I'm siding with the the, the escapees, but why the heck are you looking at footprints in your in your mud and knowing oh those footprints weren't there yesterday? Let me call the freaking cops. You a op, a loser. A bum. If you're thinking of breaking out of jail, it'd probably be best if you didn't follow in the footsteps of these crooks. And threw a blanket over the razor wire before running across the roof to a temporary freedom. Think fast, act fast. When at first you don't succeed, try and try again. After a few failed attempts over the course of a day, 
Discover my new fragrance. Come on, bro. I'm tired of these freaking ads. Nobody wants this stupid Scent whatever this is. is. And I can't even hot. skip this. I can't skip this stupid. What is what is this? Perfume? Do I look like a girl to you? YouTube? Huh? So obsessed. I'm Another so one? What the so I don't need so a Like, what? come on now, bro. At this point, they're just playing with me. At this point, they, they playing decided with me. to buy this time and wait for his moment. When one presented itself, he had to think fast and act fast. As the police moved away from the patrol car to process his transfer, this guy saw an opening as the garage door was closing. Oh, boom, he sprinted boom, boom, boom. out of the go, tiny opening with the best display of speed limbo you've you ever go. seen in your life. Not, as the roller door closed. I'm really not trying to, you know what I'm saying? be on a side but it's just it, it's i like seeing the underdogs win sometimes and right now all these inmates is the underdogs it was behind him it took the cops valuable minutes to get outside and by this stage he was long gone he covered so much ground that not even a two-hour sniffer dog search could find him he was arrested the next day and you could say his luck had run out <laughs> pun very much intended how'd they get him how did they find slow him? and controlled when you're not a criminal mastermind, you have to play to your strengths. Being a silver-tongued Casanova has its perks, especially if the guard making eyes at you just happens to be holding the keys to the only barrier between you and freedom. These guys calmly opened the gate and casually strolled out of the jail with no urgency at all, without a care in the world. There aren't many scenarios where a prison guard and an escaped con can live happily ever after. She's seen running her hands through her hair and looking totally stressed out, rethinking her life choices. The following day, she's arrested. And the three guys on the she was getting, she was busting she was busting busting she was getting clapped by the three dudes that she just let out. That's different. Okay. Run or apprehended five days later after a tense siege with police. Stick to what you're good at, guys. Breaking hearts, not breaking out of jail. A camera in the alley outside captured the men dressed in all white casually walking away. Van hit and run. If something's too good to be true, it generally is. A group of prisoners were being escorted through the garage on their way back to their cells. One is seen lingering and soon after walks behind a transport van out of sight, with the guards going ahead and not noticing he's missing. All that's left for him to do is open the door, turn the key that's so conveniently sitting in the ignition, and start the van. It's like the stars have aligned and the universe is almost begging him to take his chances for free. These jail people are stupid. What? What? Freedom. He floors the van, smashing through the garage door and is free and clear. Or so he thought. He crashed into some trees nearby and was- If you're a Christian- Bruv! 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 Ads, you stupid ads! That's not what I'm talking about though. How you get away and you crash the car? How? How? How are you so stupid that you did all that work to escape? Did all of that? Well, he didn't even do no work. It's just the guards were stupid. He, they left the key inside the ignition. They didn't, they didn't make sure everybody was with them. He did all of that. Got the easiest getaway. He has a car. You know what I'm saying? He has a freaking car. He got away. You know what I'm saying? No longer under arrest. None of that. And he crashed into a tree. Are you? Like, come on, bro. Let's be realistic about how stupid this dude is. Oh, where my sound at? Or so he thought. He crashed into some trees nearby and was arrested. Most people steal a car and then get sent to jail, not the other way around. Handcuffs. Even dumb criminals get lucky breaks eventually. After being arrested at a motel for theft, this woman found her way into a police holding cell. She was left alone with her phone to try to arrange bail money in a life home. She struggles to break free of the cuffs, anchoring her to the wall in between checking text messages. Even though police say the cuffs were on its tightest setting, she was able to wriggle her dainty hands free. She took the keys off a hook on the wall and used them to open an emergency exit to quietly slip out the back door while no one was watching. They keep the key to the jail inside the jail cell what yo these people at this point at this point i'm com i'm convinced these people are just stupid she was busted an hour later when she returned to the same hotel where she was arrested that morning instantly recognized by the staff who worked there the cops is stupid the inmates is stupid what come on why would you go back to the same exact place you just got arrested at like, this is pissing me off. At this point, this is making me mad. Bulldozer attack. 
Denmark is famous for Vikings and Lego bricks, but mass prison escapes? Not so much. 25 years ago, a TV film crew received an anonymous tip about a protest outside of a prison in Copenhagen and went there to document the event. What happened next was a bulldozer slamming into the brick wall of the jail and knocking it down, with prisoners running out of the hole like ants fleeing from their nest. They can be seen running down the street laughing and cheering, celebrating their newfound freedom. The film crew were arrested on suspicion of having prior knowledge of the escape and and failing to notify police, 13 inmates escaped in total, some with lengthy jail terms for violent crimes and murder, with only three ever being caught. 10 of them is still out there. Hopefully they ain't do nothing bad for real, because like if it was like somebody that like killed somebody I know, then nah, you gotta stay in the jail, man. You gotta stay. If you got free, I'm gonna go look for you myself. I'm gonna be hunting your tracks. You know what I'm saying? But t imagine being the three that got caught, and you go back to jail and you realize you 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 the only three that got caught. The other ten is still still out there living their best life. Depression. Yeah. Detailed instructions. Prisons are designed to keep inmates in, not to give them easy ways to get out. After all, the key to success is executing a carefully detailed plan. Typically, you would think that installing air vents large enough for a man to squeeze through close to the floor would be a bad idea in a prison, but this was exactly how this trio gained access into the plumbing shafts bro, behind what? the- I'm tired of these ads, bro. I can't keep doing these freaking ads. There's an ad every two seconds on this video. I know he eating off of me. Pause. Holes. They used ropes made out of bed sheets and had a getaway van waiting with fresh clothes and a bottle of Jack Daniels for a celebratory drink. It only took eight minutes for three inmates to complete their complex plan, ironically using a cell phone to film their escape from their cell. These guys traded 15 minutes of fame for an extra 15 years behind bars. Daring Escape They say that courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. Arrested at school for fighting, this teenager was left alone in an interrogation room for only I think I saw this one. He, he went out the window. Only 10 seconds before he threw caution to the wind and fearlessly jumped out of a 16 foot high second story window. He may just have rubber bones as he got straight back up after surviving the fall and got out of there as fast as his legs could carry him. The cop comes to check on him 14 minutes later and you can clearly hear him saying a few choice words when he realizes what's happened. The boy was found three hours later at his friend's house. We can safely say that when he turns 21, the only bars he'll be attending will be made of iron. Through the window. The mind is a powerful thing. All you have to do is believe in yourself and commit. This inmate had a pretty simple plan. He was being processed in a detention center. One of his buddies would distract the guard while he made his getaway. When he saw an extremely small window, he thought, think thin, over and over in his head before taking a running leap, diving through the window. Once outside, he got into the getaway car his girlfriend was waiting in and they diving through the window. Once outside, he got into the getaway car his girlfriend was This is a girl? And a girlfriend? As in, he approached her and said, I like you and you're beautiful. This? Okay. I just had to pause it. Like, it, it shocked me. I was confused. I didn't know if that was the guy who escaped or waiting in and they were off like a modern day Bonnie and Clyde. 26 days later, they were discovered living in an abandoned house in the next state after an anonymous tip-off. The warden said he's taking extra steps and putting locking mechanisms on the window, which should have been a no-brainer in a prison. Psst, hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shout-outs we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. I don't care if you want to be shouted out in our next upcoming video, is the video? Bro, uh, this whole video made me realize that people are stupid. Like this video was not like, oh my god, they all got away. Oh, they were so smart. Their plan, their prison break, their prison break, um, freaking plan was so good. No, these people are stupid. Like, like the cops is stupid and the inmates is stupid. Like both of them is stupid. The cops, first of all, they don't pay attention to nothing. I tell you that right now. They ain't paying attention to a single freaking thing. Second of all, the inmates is getting away and doing stupid stuff like going back to where they got arrested at, going to their house, going to their friend house crashing the car into a tree 
That's what really made me mad because he he could have been in freaking Arkansas. The Antarctic, he could have been all the way over there by the time they found out. And what did he do? Crash into a freaking tree. Are you serious? Are you serious? Like, come on, bro. That pissed me off for real. <sighs> Anyways, y'all, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Personally, do y'all think that y'all could y'all could escape? Like, obviously, I'm not saying nobody get arrested. Jail's not fun. I'm not saying you get arrested to test to see if you can escape. None of that. I'm simply just saying, do you think that you could? Like, what? what is, like, a sure way? I don't think there is any sure way to escape jail. Because then I think there would be a lot more jail escapes than there are now. But, yeah. I, I, me, personally, I don't know. I, I'll just never get arrested. That's my that's my thing. That's how I'm escaping jail. I just never go to jail. It's very easy. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that's the end of the video. If y'all enjoyed it, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Make sure you hit that post notification bell. Go watch Prison Break. It's a good show. It's on Netflix. It's like five, six seasons or something like that. It's really good. And when you watch it, let me know in the comments down below. Just be like, yo, Josiah, you're the GOAT. You put me on a prison break. It's so good. You're welcome. That's what I do. Anyways, I'm going to see y'all out. Hey, yo, C3, so fly. Hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky. No, I'm never borderline. They choose I because I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.